Today in our 2010 Ford Escape, we're going to do a test fit of the Thule Hitching Post Pro. This is a tilting and folding Ford bike rack. It's been designed for either the inch and a quarter or two inch hitch. Part number on it is TH934XTR. To begin our test fit, we need to slide the shank of the rack right into the receiver tube of our hitch. As we do, we'll line our threaded hole up with our hitch pin hole. Then we'll take the anti-rattle bolt and thread that in. Then we'll run it down hand tight. As you can see, that connection point in there does have a lot of play in it. And the rack's going to move around quite a bit with this loose. So we're going to use our wrench to tighten it down. As we do that, it's going to draw the shank of the rack right over against the receiver tube. That's going to help us to take all that play out. As you can see, now that we have that bolt nice and tight, that connection point's not moving without the car. We've got the rack installed. Let's get some measurements off of it to determine what kind of clearances we're going to have. Start with ground clearance here. It looks like we're going to have about 13 and 3 quarters of an inch. The closest point of the rack to the rear of the vehicle is going to be right there at that round part. That's going to be about 9 and a quarter inches away. And overall we've added about 17 inches to the length of the Ford. The Hitching Post Pro does not offer a nice tilt-away feature. That'll be by removing the bail pin. We can tilt that away. As you can see, it's going to allow us all the room we need to open our cargo hatch and get into our gear. We'll now stand this back into its upright position, reinsert the pin to hold it in place. We can then move right up here to the top. We've got another bail pin here. Removing that will allow us to swing out our dual cradle arms. If we have them in the right position, will it be able to slide that pin right back through and secure it with the clip? Let's get another overall measurement here since we did just extend our arms. It looks like with them in the extended position, we've added about 27 and a half inches to the length. Oh, is that right? Let me take a look. I'm sorry. That extended, we've added about 37 and a half inches to the length of the escape. To load up our bike, we're going to undo our cradle straps. The cradles are adjustable up and down the cradle arm, so it makes it nice for a wide variety of bikes. Place our bike right up into the cradles. Then in the position we want, we'll now go through and secure it with our three straps here. Now with all three of our straps secure, we're ready to hit the road. Now that we've been able to see exactly how that Thule Hitching Post Pro is going to work with the Ford Escape, Let's see how that same rack performed when they took it through our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 